In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon his last and beloved Major Muhammad. And may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all. This is the third episode in a series entitled Logical Proofs from the Quran. And in this series I show from the guidance of the Quran how to prove logically with reason the truthfulness of the teachings of Allah God Almighty in the Quran. And this lecture is entitled The Quran is from Allah God Logically Proof meaning how to prove logically with reason that the Quran is from Allah God Almighty. Now Allah God gives us the answer for this. How to prove that the Quran is from Allah? Where? In the Quran, in chapter 4, verse 82, which reads, Do they not then consider the Quran carefully? Had it been from other than Allah God, they would surely have found therein many contradictions. So here Allah God Almighty is giving us a test to show whether the Quran is from Allah or not. Where Allah says that if it was from a human, meaning not from, a, not from Allah God Almighty, you would surely find the Quran many contradictions. And this is logical because any person who writes a book, the person changes as he's writing the book, and you will have contradictions due to the person changing, due to errors that the person may, uh, might make. So you'll find kind of contradictions, you'll find changes in the book. So here is a test. Which I, which I call it contradiction test. So, if we apply this test to the Quran to see whether it's from Allah or not. So, a, a book with the magnitude of the Quran, if, there, if it's free from contradictions, then it's from Allah God Almighty. Because no human can be consistent to write a book with the size of the Quran, huge information. And keeping in mind that the Quran was revealed, not at once, during a period of 23 years, 23 years the Quran was put together 23 years so if a person wrote it a person changes in 23 years he changes and he what he believe, what the right or wrong changes and uh, his view on life change so no person can be consistent for 23 years to write a book so let's apply this contradiction test to the Quran to see whether there are contradictions or not in the Quran and I'll take a certain kind of uh, teaching of the Qur'an, which is the oneness of Allah God Almighty, the oneness of God, that there is only one God, not many. And to see. Now the contradiction test goes as follows, that you look for this kind of teaching at the beginning of the Qur'an, and the middle and the end. And you see, does it change at the beginning of the Qur'an and the middle at the end? If it changes, then there is a contradiction. If not, then there is no contradiction. Now let's see the, the starting um, verses of the Qur'an in chapter 1 verse 2 which reads All the praises and thanks be to Allah God the Lord of all that exists. So we see that the beginning of the Qur'an Allah teaches us that He is one and only. He, he is the Lord of all that exists. Not many, only one. So let's see the middle of the Qur'an. What it, what it teaches about the same concept. In chapter 41 verse 6 it reads Say, I am only a human being like you. It is revealed to me that your God is one God. Therefore, take straight path to him and obedience to him and seek forgiveness of him and woe to those who associate partners to Allah God. So here Allah is teaching us in the middle of the Quran, around the middle, that is one and only. So in the beginning, one and only. In the middle, one and only. Let's see at the end. In chapter 112, verse 1, which reads, Say, He is Allah, God, the One. So again, at the end of the Quran, Allah teaches us He is one and only. So we see the concept of the oneness of Allah at the beginning, the middle, and the end. No change, no contradiction. So this, the Quran is from Allah, God Almighty. And we see again, I re-emphasize the point, the wisdom of revealing the Quran in 23 years, not all at once. The Qur'an was not revealed all at once, because if it was revealed all at once, some, some skeptic, some, some, someone, someone might say that he wrote it at the same time, and that's the reason for no contradictions, because he wrote it at the, at, you know, on the spot. But the fact that Allah sent the Qur'an in 23 years 
shows, and there is a reason behind this, in 23 years, that even the argument about contradiction and writing it all at once, it fails because the Quran was written in 23 years and no human can be cons that consistent to the letter that consistent in 23 years of writing a book with the magnitude of the Quran. So the only so the Quran is Allah God Almighty. He's the only one that is free from error and he's consistent in what, he, in what Allah teaches. So let's apply this contradiction test to the Bible. Let's see the Bible if it passes or fails the test, this test. We saw that the Quran passes the, the test. Again, taking the same concept, the oneness of Allah Almighty, and seeing this concept in the Bible. So at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis 1.1, it reads the following, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So this is a verse in the Bible, the beginning of the Bible, which shows that God created the heavens and the earth, meaning one God. One God created the heavens and the earth, one God, not many. Another place in the Bible, going further down the road, in John 3.16, it reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So here, the concept changes. It's not one God, God and a Son. And the Son should have godly qualities, because for example, the offspring of a, of a human, he has, he has human properties. So likewise, if God has a son, then he should be also a God. So we have here two gods now. The first we have one God created the heavens and the earth, and then we have two gods. The concept changed, changed so much. Contradictions. Again, in John 5, 7, it states, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So here the concept again changed. Changed. We have three gods, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And they, then they say three are one, but I, I found that one of the most difficult things to ask a person, how can three be one? But the concept here is changed again, for having three. So beginning at one, at the beginning of the book, then we come back to two, then come three. And they try to rectify this by saying three are one, but the concept changed. So we see that the Bible fails the contradiction test. It failed. So we see this very beautiful test to apply to any book that claims it's from Allah God Almighty. So, brothers and sisters, we see logically how to prove that the Quran is from Allah God Almighty logical proof and please when you see this think about what I'm saying and if you are on the wrong if you are on the wrong path please rectify yourself and correct yourself and go back to the noble Quran and by going back to the Quran you go forward in your thinking in your belief in God in knowing his true revelation to people and his and his way that brings you happiness in this life and the hereafter and to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and bless of Allah be upon you all.